Welcome or welcome back. My name is Joanne and today I'm going to be doing my next makeup playtime which is going to be a full face get ready with me with some products that are in my project pans, mainly deco panning. And I'm going to be using my Pet McGrath bronze seduction palette today. I did get a comment saying that they wanted to see a look using the whole palette, using the mattes. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's just get into the get ready with me. My first step is always some type of lip prep and I'm currently trying to use up my Lunar Beauty lip oil in Expose Me. This is the one that smells like mango but this is how much I have left. I don't know if you can see. I think so. Yeah. So I don't have that much left. I'm almost done with this which is nice and I can move on to the next. This is just nice, very hydrating. I love this as a lip prep. I did say that I'm using mostly my project pan items. I am using a couple newer items to me as well. So I'll mention that when I get there. For my primer, I'm using the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. That's in my deck of panning to finish. And I am so, so close. Like, I am so close to finishing this. I hope I can finish it by the next update. If not, I will be very sad because I should be able to finish this by the next update. I think this is nice to blur, but I just don't know how I feel about it being in a pot. I know I mentioned that I wasn't the biggest fan of this primer before. Like, it does blur nicely. It just doesn't keep me mad. And next, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Corrector in the shade Peach. I have this one in Cherry Blossom. I really like the consistency of these, and this is my BK... Angie Han Flashy A506 brush. Just a kitten paw brush. I like this with my um, corrector. I don't like it with like my actual concealer. I think it's just a little too dense for my liking. I'll just put a little bit right here. I don't have too dark of circles today, which is nice. Means I got plenty of sleep last night. For my foundation, I just got this yesterday. This is half off that Ulta. This is the Lancome Tante Doll Ultra Wear in the shade 320C, which is interesting because I do not really have a cool undertone. At least I don't think I do. But this matches me pretty well, actually. I was very skeptical when I came home with this. So I'm going to start with one pump to see if I need to add a little bit more. I did yesterday. I did use my new products yesterday. So they're not like full first impressions, but this wore so nicely on my skin. It's so pretty. Oh my god. It's definitely a natural matte finish. So if you don't like a matte finish foundation, I don't recommend it. I do want to try this with a brush. I did bring in a brush that I decluttered to try with foundation. Because the brush I have now is the BK, it's this one. It's the big paddle one, uh, the 101. And I just find it a little too dense. Am I like, if I'm going to use a sponge today. Honestly, one pump has like a nice light medium coverage. Maybe more medium. But like you can build this up. I did build it up yesterday. Just because I thought I needed more coverage on my cheeks yesterday. This looks very pink. But like with everything on, it looks perfectly fine. And then I did get a new cream product. I know I said I don't like cream products. But I'm kind of getting more into them now. So I got this Dibs <laughs> Duo, which everyone's been loving. I got the shade three and the blush is in full deets and the bronzer is in spill the tea so i'm gonna go in so that was, yeah i'm gonna first go in with the bronzer and i just use it like i do my rare booty the only thing about these duos is that it doesn't come with like a ton of product it comes with a total of nine grams yeah so each side is like four and a half grams which isn't a lot but i mean whatever i liked it when i used it yesterday so we'll see I just swipe this on everywhere that I put bronzer. 
And I'm just gonna blend that in with this Kaleidos brush. Like, I think that's such a nice shade for me. I did so well with that. Good job, Joanne. Proud of me. Well, cause they didn't have every shade in store. They only had a few and it was either this, um, there was 5.5, which looked very deep and um, two. I think I could have also used two, but I preferred the blush shade on this stick. It's a warmer, it's like a peachy shade. And before I put on my blush, I like to do my concealer. So I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Concealer in the shade 9N, which is the one I'm currently trying to use up, which is gonna take forever. It looks like there's a lot of windowing in there. It looks like I'm actually below this line that I made because I started tracking it. It's not in a project pan or anything. It's just on the side. I'm trying to use it up. And this is a very thick concealer, so you really don't need a lot of it. I'm just putting it where I need the most brightness. I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge. Like, I love the shade of this. I just think it's a little too thick for my liking. I definitely prefer my Huda concealer. I do wanna try the Hourglass concealer. That will probably be my next concealer purchase. I might need a little more on this side, just to cover up that, um, actually, I think it's okay. I'm just gonna use the same brush to blend out my blush because I put it on yesterday but I used a different brush to blend it out and I think that was just too dense for that. Like you would have to pick it up with that brush for it to work out. I feel like it's just more of a peachy shade. It's very pretty. I'm actually enjoying this duo. Me enjoying a cream product too. What a thought. I'm just blending that out. Just adds like a little bit of color. Let me actually go in with the other brush and take the product straight from the stick and use it like that. Just add a little bit more pigment. That is such a pretty shade. I'm so glad I went with this one. I actually really like this stick. Again, it doesn't come with a ton of product, but I mean, you like what you like. That's what I've literally been saying lately, all the time. And then my powder for my under eyes, I'm using my Givenchy Prisma Lieb powder, which they reformulate, which I don't understand why brands do that. Like if something's working, why are you changing it? If it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, apparently the new formulation is not good at all. So I just take a little on my puff which needs to be washed and then I just kind of tap it on the cap just to mesh it into the puff and I always make sure I have no creases under my eyes before applying and then, like is this super brightening no but like it blurs so nicely and it's so lightweight that I love it for my under eyes. My under eyes are very thin, very sensitive, so I can't really use like a heavy powder like I would all over my face under my eyes. Otherwise, it just looks like too much, even in the summer. So again, just gonna tap out the creases and then apply this powder. So it sucks that they reformulated this because Everyone loved this powder and now you can't even get the same formula. Unless if you use other shades I've heard of the same formula, but not the one that I would get. So, because the Huda one is a little more heavy than this one, but that one's still really nice. Not great for my super oily skin, but it would be nice for like winter time when I don't need as heavy of a powder. And then for the rest of my face, I use this Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass powder, which looks like this. I have a lot poured out of here. And I kind of just do the same thing. Not kind of, I do the same thing. Just to make sure it's meshed in there. And then I just set my whole face with this powder. This is the best powder I've ever used. I do want to try the one size one. Um, I would definitely get 
probably the translucent because I would use it all over my face. Also, part of me just wants to get the big size of this powder because I know I love it. But I do want to try that one size powder first. I might just get a travel of that one to try it and then see what I like better. But that's only after I use up this powder. I've been trying to be good about not buying things until I use things up. But I haven't done that because I haven't used up either of my foundations. But I don't really like either of my foundations. <laughs> um, I have the Fenty Ease Drop, which mm, might be nice in the winter. But I feel like it's too dark for me in the winter. <laughs> and then... I have the NARS Light Reflecting. I don't know why I got that. I just wanted to try it so bad. That is too glowy for my liking, which I knew going in. So why did I buy it? I don't know. But I love this foundation. It wears so nicely throughout the day. Oh my god. <laughs> so nice. Especially with this new setting spray that I got yesterday as well. The combination of everything I'm telling you just is amazing on my skin. Like, look at my skin. I mean, does it need more color? Yes, but we'll get there. <laughs> I did use all these products yesterday except for the palette. I used my I Need a Warm palette yesterday for my second look. I'm doing a three looks video with that. I didn't think I would pick that palette up, let me tell you. I'm going to go with my L'Oreal Unfollow Bronzer, of course, because I'm trying to hit pan on this. Which is proving to be an impossible task. Like, I know I'm close. The dip is so deep. I'll get there one day. Hopefully this year during in deco panning. If not, I will continue working on it until I hit pan. Because I like the shade of this bronzer. It's really nice on me. Like it's nice and like neutral, maybe leaning a little rosy-ish. And I just prefer a rosy bronzer. I don't know, I just like the look of that. Like I don't love a golden tone bronzer. I don't know, it just looks weird on me. Like, if you're looking for a drugstore bronzer, I definitely recommend trying this. It's so nice. And they have, I'm pretty sure they have a decent shade range as well. So I definitely recommend checking out this L'Oreal bronzer. If you're purchasing from L'Oreal, I know some people don't. But if you're purchasing from L'Oreal, I definitely recommend trying it. If you're, again, looking for a more affordable bronzer. Because I'm more of a bougie I'm a bougie girl okay I love my expensive things my Gucci bronzer my Charlotte bronzer <laughs> like I understand you don't need to spend that much money on makeup but I just love it like I don't really buy clothes I don't buy many purses handbags I I literally have a white coach purse for work and then I have like a gray case spade for like going out and stuff so that's all I have and I feel like that's all I need <laughs> and I do have a crossbody from case spade as well that I think can be used as like a little handbag and I'm gonna go in with my house lab <laughs> I'm gonna go with my house labs blush in the shade hibiscus haze this one is also in my deck of panning which I'm using a lot of deck of panning projects such a pretty shade and this is like a matte formula but it almost seems like it has a little bit of like a sheeniness to it I'm gonna put some on my nose I love a nose blush it's so pretty I kind of just put my blush everywhere honestly <laughs> and then sometimes I'll do this but um sometimes I go in with my hourglass dim light powder just to blend everything together I'm going to take it on this Bling Brushes brush. It's a little pointed, but just dusting it on. Just adds a little life back into the cheeks. And that's where I like my glow. I don't like it anywhere else. I don't like it on my forehead. I definitely don't like it on my nose. Because my nose is the part that gets the most oily. I guess I should say gets oily the quickest. I'm actually using two setting sprays. I know a little excessive. But the setting spray that I got yesterday is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. And I got this to try to replace my um, one size setting spray because I love that setting spray, but it literally smells like hairspray. It makes me sneeze every single time. 
So let me actually take off this cap, the second cap, because I don't need that. But this sprayer sucks. Like it literally squirts out. Okay, it's actually okay today. <laughs> Yesterday it squirted out like it got on my mirror. And I'm like, how did you even do that? But it leaves such a nice matte look. And I love it. And I just like using it before my highlighter because otherwise it's going to tone down my highlighter. I think you can already see my shine going down. Crazy how makeup works. This has, what does this have? This has some type of clay. This has some type of clay. I don't remember what it's called, but like, it definitely mattified down my face a lot. I feel like you can see that. And it leaves it like that pretty nice throughout the day. I still don't know if this foundation matches or not. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks fine. But other times I'm like, it's kind of drastic. I don't know. And now I'm going to go with my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Moonlight. Look how pretty that is. Oh my god. And this is why I do it after my mattifying setting spray because otherwise it just tones this down completely. And the second setting spray I'm going to be using is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I'm just going to try to focus it on my cheeks because it leaves me a little dewy. Now I'm going to do my brows and prime my eyelids off camera. So I will come back for the eye look. I used my MAC Paint Pond Soft Ochre like I always do to prime my eyes. And now let's get into the eyeshadow. I'm going to take my usual Bling Brushes brush. And I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. So I have already used these mattes. Um, they're not my favorite matte formula. I definitely prefer Natasha's matte formula. Um, these just are a little drier and like require a little bit more blending, but they're also very pigmented as you can see. But they do blend out. And I'm sorry if you can hear that bird pecking it's, yeah, they love to make holes in our house. I mean, what makes a Pat McGrath palette special, my eyes are watering, are her Blitz Astral shades that are right here. They're so stunning. Like, honestly, to me, that just makes the palette worth it. I find that if you place it and then blend it out, it's better than just going in and blending like I did on that eye. <laughs> Yeah, again, these mattes aren't my favorite. I mean, they still work nicely. They're brown mattes. And I am going to use all three mattes today. So I'm going to take my Max Bling Brushes brush and go in with this deeper brown right here. And ignore the cracks in this purple. I did mention this in my palette battle, but it was like poofing out of the pan. So I just pressed it down and cracked. It's been fine since, but I'm just keeping an eye out for that. Because I do like the depth that you can achieve in this palette. Like you can just use that one matte that I used and then put on a shimmer and go out the door. Or you can like build up a smoky look. And that's what I like in a palette. So this this brown is kind of like the same tone, just deeper than that first one. Sometimes this eye literally turns out better than the other eye. You know, I call this eye my problem child. This is the eye I tend to go wild with. Like today. I feel like it's turning out better than this eye. Don't know what the cause is. I'm just taking the brush from before with no additional product and blending that out. Now I'm going to go in with that deep purple shade. There is a little bit of sparkle in there, so there might be a little sparkle that comes onto my eye. And this is a Blend Bunny 
B1 brush. I think their brushes are only available in a set. I wish they would do them individually, but I know that's more expensive, right? I mean, obviously. But I love using this brush for like a deep shade. Yeah, I don't know what happened to this eye. Just ignore it. <laughs> just look at this eye. And I'm just gonna go brush by brush and blend that out. And then I think what I wanna do is I wanna take this shade all over the lid and then top it with this best Blitz Astral right here. Let me actually see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that would be cute. Would that be cute? Yeah, I do like that. And this palette is literally so heavy. But I'm gonna go in with this Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush. This is like my go-to shimmer brush. And I'm gonna go in with that deeper, like, taupey, bronzy, like a taupey shade. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. It's actually really pretty. I like that as just like a look. And then I'm not gonna spray it. I'm not too worried about it being super impactful or anything because I'm gonna take that Blitz Astral shade on top. It's applying so nicely with a the brush. There's no fallout at all, which is very nice. And it's just applied so smoothly. Like that's such a pretty, just smoky eye. And then I'm gonna go with that Blitz Astral shade, which looks like it's like a green. To pinky purple, I think. That is a pretty smoky eye. I like that a lot. And then let me just take my same brushes and just blend that into the mattes. And then my lower lash line, I'm gonna take this deeper brown and blend it out with this lighter brown. I need to not make the faces I do when doing my lower lash line. But I can't help it. And then of course I have to go in with an inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with this first shade right here. This one's so pretty as an inner corner and it has like a yellow tone to it. So pretty. I love this palette, it's so nice. It has lighter shades, it has darker shades. The shimmers are pretty, even like the metallics I find are really nice to work with. And look that Blitz Astral on top. So pretty. Um, I'm gonna do, go do my liner and my mascara off camera and I will come back and do my lips. I have a coat of mascara on, so let me do my lips because this is when I like to do my lips. I let my mascara dry. Let me wipe off my lip oil. And I'm gonna go with my Melt lip liner in the shade Cashmere. Sorry, you can't even see it. I really do need to sharpen this. And I like to take my finger and just blend that in. And then I'm gonna go in with one of my new lipsticks. This is the MAC Maximal Matte Lipstick in the shade Warm Teddy. These were half off at Ulta on the first day of the sale. These are just as pigmented as their original formula because these are the reformulated and I love them. They're thinner than the original formula, which I found the original a little thick. I still like them. And Warm Teddy still has that rosiness that Velvet Teddy does, but it's just a little peachier. It's a very pretty color. Here's the final look. Again, I used my YSL Lash Class Mascara, and I used my Danessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Blackout for my liner. But this is the final look using my Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette and using some new products and just some products that I haven't used on camera yet. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you're picking up anything during the Ulta sale. The only other thing that I'm interested in is the Way Hair Mask. I hope you have a great day, a great night, whatever time it is for you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.